Dude, it's so exciting that you're putting out this album, um, A Rock, or as I like to say, you're putting out a rock. Yeah, a rock album. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a rock. Uh, I, no, I do like your grunge, your grunge stuff sound that I want to get to in a second. But man, you've had so much success, not only just writing, but uh, now that you're stepping back into the forefront of being an artist, which has got to be a little bit fun, fun for you. Take uh, you know, that crowd in every time you play. It feels like yesterday you were just at Joe's um, no, no, playing. No. Yeah, you look so disappointed right now. Has it been really hard not performing? It has, man. And, and you know, finally, we finally kind of hit our stride as as uh, me and the band, and and just the sh every show we had was just awesome. And and it just kind of came to a complete stop. It's a, it's a bummer, man. It really is. And um, but you know, there's a lot of silver linings. I've I've gotten to kind of get back to just being a songwriter, which is great. And it, and it, and if anything, it's really made me appreciate being on the road and I won't ever take that for granted uh, ever again, you know, cause it can be taken away like that. Uh, when you're writing these songs, a rock, you say you got back to a songwriter. How many of these songs were written like during quarantine? How many are from the before? Um, let when me was see. This whole timeline of this thing. So close was quarantine. Uh, Ain't a bad day was quarantine. Um, uh, was give heaven some hell quarantine? No, that one was actually written about a year ago. Um, Hate Your Hometown was quarantine. Uh, yeah, there were three or four on there were quarantine. They were some of the last ones that we cut. So this is uh, Give Heaven Some Hell. Hide your beer, hide your clear from the man upstairs. Crank it loud, hold it down till I get Was that written about somebody? Did somebody close to you pass away? You know, not not specifically. Um, I've had a few people, you know, in high school, you have, you have friends that, you know, you have tragic accidents and stuff like that. But... Um, Fortunately, it was not like, it's not about one particular person, but I definitely have been through certain situations to pull from, you know what I mean? Um, but it's not, no, it's not technically about one specific person. I was curious because it's, you know, it's weird how you write things in the past and they become so relevant with different situations. And right now, a lot of people have lost a lot of people. Yeah, And you, you put, put kind of this, uh, I don't know, inspirational spin on the fact that you're losing someone, but you're like, hey, you're up there doing your thing, meet yeah. you there, and we'll get the party going again. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, and it's, it's crazy. I, I, my Instagram and YouTube comments and stuff. It's just story after story. It's a bit overwhelming. I read them all the time and respond to some and, and uh, it's just very overwhelming, but it's, it's good to know that that song is, is moving people. You know? Yeah. I wish I had a ton of time. Cause I would love to talk to you about the different styles of music, but I mean, boots, you put out that cool teaser with, uh, was it Nirvana? What was it? It was come as you are or something like that yeah, originally like back in April. Yes. And, uh, and it was so hype, but that's such your grunge sound and boots is, is exactly that. It's just so good. It just makes you go. Yeah. The stank face, dude. Yeah. And you, I mean, you come from a lot of that too, where you have a country mm -hmm. lifestyle. Were you ever nervous of jumping into the country music world that it wasn't going to be as accepted? Your style, who you are, your, your sound, things like yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, you know, um, yeah. I mean, songs like four by four, which was on the very first uh, thing I ever put out was, was really uh, dialed into that kind of sound, you know, even in the early stages of my artistry. And I was like, really, uh, yeah, I was nervous. I was like, man, I, I, people could hate this because you have no idea. I mean, I, I don't, I feel like something like that hasn't really been done before, not at least in the modern era. So you have no idea how people are going to react. Did you get advice from um, the guys like FGL? Those guys, I mean, ran into the same kind of thing, right? The sound. Did you get advice from anybody when it came to what people said about you as an artist and who you believe you are? Just to be true, you know, especially uh, my producer, Joey, was really big on that. Like, dude, yep. just do you and don't do anything else. Lock it out. Screw the people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't try to fit in a box. Don't try to yep. sound like Nashville and, and – uh, that's something that I've done with my writing and something that we do in the recording. Like we don't care. And, and we just we make it sound like how we want it to sound. And, and, you know, thankfully people are kind of gravitating towards it. I know we only got a couple minutes here, but I want to, uh, I want to have some fun because I play a, a game every day on the air and it'd be fun to play with you on the air so we can help uh, let right. people know. Cause a rock coming out on, uh, you know, on uh, September 4th, right. Yeah. For the big uh, holiday weekend. So it'd be fun. So it's called tell me a tale and I play a tail end of a song. It's like the last note or two. And you tell me what song it, it is. Oh shoot. Okay. These yeah. are all songs you wrote though. So oh, the pressure, God. so the pressure's on a little bit. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. I'll start with maybe something a little easy here. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, God's Country. God's Country. You got that one. Okay. Oh, I got bells too. Look at that. All right, here we go. Um, uh, one big country song. There it is, low cash. You got it. <laughs> I expect you to know your own songs, but sometimes you have no, so many I, songs I that you've heard, right? Yeah, and I don't just like listen to the to them on repeat. Right. You know. <laughs> Mm. Right, but I, I won't tell Lokesh so you don't listen to it. Here, ready? Oh, um, uh, some girls. Some girls, there it is. Two more, ready? Okay. This is your boy. I shouldn't give it a hint. Uh, more than my hometown. Yeah. And the last one, I'm sure you'll get this one right away. Hell right. That's right, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough one. That one yeah. almost got me. That was super fun. Uh, I'm excited yeah, for you. Great. I know uh, everyone here in Chicago, everyone got, was super jealous that I got to talk to you because everyone's like, there's my favorite person. <laughs> um, and so we're excited for your album to come out. And I don't know how much time we have because there was, oh, I wanted to touch on one more thing before we go. I, I wanted to ask about Hate Your Hometown because as I look through the track listing, obviously I haven't heard it yet, but the title of the songs catch me, you know, obviously catch my eye. Hate Your Hometown. You are somebody that has been proud of the, like your small town. Yeah. And your help. So what is what is that song about for me? I want to get the it's scoop on that. It's actually about, um, to be really brief, Callie, my girlfriend, um, she's from San Diego. But she went to Ole Miss in Mississippi. And so when she graduated college, she was going to go back to San Diego to get her things and stuff to, before she moved to Nashville. And she was going to stay there for like a month. And uh, <clears throat> I very selfishly thought, like, I hope when you go back that you you hate it because I don't <laughs> want you to kind of refall in love with – San Diego, which is an amazing city, right. and then want to stay there. And um, so, I mean, it's really, it's a really specific subject matter, but that's what the song is about. It's like, I know that you're homesick. I know you want to go back, but when you go back, I hope you hate it. I hope you don't recognize the streets. I hope your friends all suck. You know, like, it's just that kind of thing. I love, I love that, man. Well, we're excited for you. And hold on, I got it. I was told I have to get the screenshot. Oh, yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Let's get the big screenshot here. <laughs> perfect perfect man well thanks for uh taking the time man we're excited for you and songs sound great obviously you know we love you here in chicago and can't wait for you to come back whenever that may be yeah well hopefully soon i love chicago man i'm very partial to that we always have a great show there so i really appreciate it man. i woke up in my boots this morning